Good evening. They tell me their phones are ringing off the hook. Their Facebook, they have gotten a ton of negative comments, and it's all a case of mistaken identity. A lot of bad reviews, people calling, cuss words, bad names. And then the phone call started. Probably had, you know, 150, 200 phone calls early in the morning, people cussing us out. Turns out the angry mob was meant for a business in South Carolina, also named Eli Towing. A driver there is accused of price gouging sandbags. The tow truck driver that's up there in South Carolina he got the bags for free from a high school um, with the intent of him going out there delivering the bags to people who need them. He turned around and sold them for six to six to ten dollars a bag. Our sister station in Myrtle Beach has been following the alleged sandbag scam and police are investigating. Our priority is to try to make contact with individuals that have had direct interaction uh, with this individual. The company in Florida posted on Facebook to clear up any confusion. The comments have since been removed, and now they're turning this situation into something positive. They're collecting supplies to send a different message to the people still struggling in the Carolinas. Why we want to go up there and do what's the right things since he couldn't do it. So Eli Towing in Florida will be at the Love's Truck Stop in Davenport on Saturday collecting more supplies. They plan to deliver them to the Carolinas sometime this week. In Polk County, Melissa Marino, News Channel 8.